Hello and good morning. How are you? This is uh, Leanne Philipson coming to you from Sprout Right headquarters. And this morning I want to talk to you about supplements. So this is something that is a bazillion dollar business out there. Uh, and and it's, it's pretty confusing when you head out there and you're trying to choose the right supplement, what's good quality, do I really need this? My doctor says I don't, but maybe I do. So it's, um, you know, it's a time of confusion for a lot of people. A lot of people take, take a multivitamin every single day. And is that really the right thing to do? So let's go over a few things. I'd love to hear your questions um, below if you want to type in anything, if you've got any particular questions that you have about something that you're taking, about something that you was recommended to you, or if you wanna know what um, my take is on what's a really great supplement in terms of quality, um, not necessarily about um, particular brands, as you can see, maybe see behind me, behind my chair, I've got a couple of different brands um, that I work with, but also the way that I work with supplements is if I'm doing a one-on-one -on -one consultation with a client, which I do a lot of, this is my office where I see clients, uh, lovely and comfortable. Um, there's always babies, children, toddlers uh, who come and uh, who come into my office or just um, individuals, parents, um, or just somebody wanting to come along to speak about their health, their weight loss, their you know, weight gain, whatever it happens, whatever it happens to be, or their you know, upset stomach. There's lots and lots of different things that I talk about um, in a consultation. So when I see someone for a consultation, I do a method of testing called sound therapy, which is quite unique. It's not something that is widely talked about or widely practiced. But in 2013, I did, uh, I did a lot of training in three different methods of testing people to find out what it is, where their imbalances are, and then move forward so that everything that they're taking, any supplements, any remedies, anything like that that anyone is taking, then they are taking what is right for them energetically. So it is an energetic method of testing. So through that, and having done this for so many years now, I've come across different products that test out really well for people, different uh, formulations, uh, lots and lots of different things. And, I, and everybody brings along their bag of supplements and I test them all to see if they're, they're working for them. And quite often, some of them are intuitively. Perhaps you pick up something and you think, oh no, I'm not gonna take that one. And then you stick it back on the shelf and you, th and you think, no, I don't like that one. I'm gonna go for that one instead. And energetically, it actually works better for you. And when anything is helping you to, you to balance energetically, then it is of, uh, of more benefit and and I believe more healing for you. So let's talk about some of the nuts and bolts of supplements. So should you take a multi every day? Is that the right thing to do? Well, to take a step back from figuring out what it is that you need, and I, I'm, I'm, I don't wanna give just sort of general advice, so I'm just gonna share the kind of things that I see work the best for my clients. So I'm not really prescribing anything for you as you're watching this video, not knowing your history, not knowing all of those kind of things. But there are a few key supplements that I really feel, um, because they test out so incredibly often for people, are generally something that would benefit most. So one of my favorites, and if you've ever heard me speak before, of course, I talk about probiotics all the time. So probiotics, for anyone that doesn't know, are, uh, is a supplement of beneficial bacteria that we would, we should, and I don't love the word should, but we should have a very strongly populated gut. So all of your intestines, that mess of small intestines in the middle of your abdomen and then the large intestine which goes up over across the abdomen and then back down again and that's how we eliminate with a bowel movement goes around the large intestine and out of our body and ideally we need like a hundred billion beneficial bacteria in our gut more 
uh, more, we have more in the lower intestine, so in the up, across, and down than we do in the small intestine, but that's kind of where everything's going on. That's where the digestion is happening. That's where, uh, where um, the bugs sit. That's where so much is, is going on. So that's a, a key place to make sure that we have hugely populated beneficial bacteria going on there. So the best way to do that is to take a supplement and every day. Sometimes people say, well, don't, if I take this supplement all the time, won't my body get used to it? And all of a sudden, my pill that I'm putting in my mouth is making up for what my body could or should be doing. So yes, there are certain things like maybe digestive enzymes that are more beneficial to take for, say, a three-month period, just so that you've got that support and that help for your body to digest all of the food that you're eating, all the great food that you're eating, especially if you're focusing on eating really well. And as you take something like digestive enzymes, and I've got about three of them around here somewhere to show you, and I believe I'm, I'm just gonna try and flip my screen, if you don't mind me doing this for a second, because otherwise when I hold everything up, then it's going to be backwards for you. So let me just flip myself. Yes, now I feel like I'm backwards. However, when I hold everything up, then I, I think it comes across for you. Can you just let me know if that you can read that the right way around? So this is Physica hypozymase. This, as I said, is a digestive enzyme. If I just get rid of this now that I'm, I might see your comments. Um, there we go. Okay, so this is called hypozymase. So for instance, this is uh, Physica Energetics, which is a Canadian uh, company. This is a professional brand, so you will only have it recommended and see it through nutritionist, naturopath, chiropractor, osteopath. So you need to have this accreditation in order to um, to work with Physica, recommend it. So, um, so this is a line that I work with a lot because I find it really, really, really works and it works quick when I use it with, um, with clients and anybody that comes to see me wants to feel better quickly. We don't want to be taking such a long time to, to, you know, to see benefits. So for instance, a digestive enzyme, so this is hypozymase. They also have one called Catazyme 7. There's vegetarian enzymes. I do have another pure one. This is uh, pure encapsulations. I'm just uh, dabbling with this one with clients right now just to test it out and see, you know, see how it, see how it is. So this digestive enzyme um, ultra is something that you take with every meal. So if you're finding yourself really bloated, if you're finding that you're not digesting your food well, you're really trying to eat well, you get sometimes for some people having antacids, um, needing to take antacids and having an acidic type of belly going on is actually because you don't have enough enzymes, you don't have enough uh, stomach acid where it feels like you have too much because it's sort of it's bubbling up up your um, up your esophagus and you're getting the pain and the heat and all of that going on there sometimes enzymes help to calm that because there's actually not enough to help you digest your food so with the enzymes then those might be taken for a certain period of time certainly not something that you need to take forever but sometimes you need them to get into a positive feedback loop where because you're digesting more of your food, you're getting more of the nutrients that your body needs to make those digestive enzymes all on your own. So digestive enzymes are something that you could take for, for a period of time and you know, do, do reach out to your naturopath or to a nutritionist or to myself to, with help to choose one. There's vegetarian enzymes, there's enzymes that just help to digest gluten, there's enzymes that help you to digest dairy. If you're sensitive to those foods and you happen to go out and you know that you're going to end up having some gluten or you know it's a brunch buffet or something like that and there's going to be all sorts of things going in and you know that you don't do well with them you can take those very specific enzymes or a broad more of a broad spectrum one like the uh, like the hypozymase or the other one sorry i'm just trying to get this around the right way so that's something that you could take for a period of time probiotics that's something that i believe everybody should be taking every single day and you can take a break from it and sometimes you need to take it more than others However, because bacteria, food, and everything like that goes in, more than half of our stool is bacteria. Every single time we have a poo or a bowel movement, we are losing billions of, of beneficial bacteria, so they need to be put back in again. In the 
olden days or 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 before more more um, more of the farming methods that we have going on we used to have more fermented foods all the time and you can certainly eat fermented foods a little bit different from human strain probiotics I'll go into that in a second however having um, taking probiotics every day especially if you're not someone that eats a lot of fermented food is of great benefit to things like gassiness to an immune system that's just not working to tiredness to waking up in the morning and feeling really foggy that like oh I can't get out of bed please just inject me with some coffee hook me up you know that kind of that kind of thing that fogginess that you feel in the morning can be from too much bad bacteria in your gut a time when you had antibiotics taking probiotics brings the level of beneficial bacteria up much much faster and elbow out any bad guys especially fungus yeast that loves to just take over the intestines at any opportunity that they might have which does tend to happen around antibiotics or post antibiotics so getting those those probiotics in there is really really important um, then too and uh, let's say that you're going away. You're going to climates warmer than, uh, than, uh, than Toronto, although today's supposed to be the, our first real spring day. Um, you say you're going somewhere and you're a bit worried about the bacteria and things like that, then, then um, uh, HMF Travel, I don't have one in front of me, but HMF Travel is one of my favorites for that. Two really great blends of different probiotics, which are very specific for the most common uh, common bacteria that you're going to pick up somewhere else. It doesn't necessarily need to be Mexico. It can be that you're going to New York from Toronto and you just happen to have something a bit different. You pick something else up on the plane. So lots and lots and lots of different probiotics. Let me quickly break them down. This doesn't need to be a whole probiotics uh, Facebook Live because I do want to get onto some of the other ones. So for probiotics, my most uh, my most recommended. So to say that this is my favorite is only because it seems to test so well and work so well for so many of my clients. So HMF Intensive. I did have the pleasure, I went to a conference two weeks ago and the formulator of all the HMF products, Dr. Nigel Plummer, is someone who I've been blessed to have a part of my training for 20 years. I have followed his work forever. He's in charge of the Swansea study. They've just done a study with probiotics and the effect of cholesterol. So that will be released, I think he said, towards the end of the year. So it's like, hurry up, such great information. So HMF intensive has been used in so many different studies and he's a scientist and he says, follow the research. So in following the research, then IBS symptoms, gassiness, to uh, diarrhea, to constipation, all of these things that, that just plague people sometimes can, I have seen, helped quite quickly and alleviated with taking HMF intensive. So again, I'm not saying that this is something I recommend for you in your situation. This is what I've seen in my practice, that it really does tend to help quickly. So the HMF intensive is 25 billion beneficial bacteria. And the difference that I find when I'm offering a probiotic to a client is does it or does it not have something called FOS or fructo oligosaccharides in it? So another probiotic, HMF Forte, which I find a lot of people love from, um, from Genestra. This is a really popular maintenance dose uh, for people. This does contain FOS. And the reason why I tend to recommend this one more, the HMF Intensive, is because it doesn't cause gassiness as much in the beginning. As you start taking probiotics, if you're giving it to your baby, there's the HMF Baby B for, for breastfed babies. I'm just reaching over to the corner of my desk. HMF Baby B for, uh, for breastfed babies. And one more reach, HMF uh, Baby F is for formula fed babies. So they tend to see a little bit more gassiness as you start taking probiotics and then it eases off after about three to five days or so. When there is FOS in a probiotic, then that gassiness just a little bit can just continue. I personally find that really annoying. So, um, I, and in my clients, I don't find that that happens with this particular product. Now to explain just briefly a little bit about numbers. So in the HMF Forte, we've got 10 billion per capsule. So you're probably gonna take a couple of those a day. This one has 25 billion and you're gonna take one of those a day, typically, again, not really trying to dose recommend over Facebook Live, that's not the right thing to do, but just generally speaking, I'm talking about the numbers here. And then we have the HMF Intensive 500. So 
25 billion, 500 billion. So this is used for ulcerative colitis, IBS, that Crohn's, uh, that situation in your gut that just will not, not go or get better. And again, I'm testing my clients to make sure that this is the most appropriate because this is, it's not cheap and it's a lot of probiotics. So do you actually need that massive, massive dose of probiotics going in? The immune system would benefit from it and be feeling an awful lot better. And um, so much would, so much s really far reaching benefits as soon as you start taking probiotics, not only in how your gut feels, but just Again, from what I've seen with my clients, uh, pretty much everything. Okay, so let's move on from the gut stuff. Um, that's another probiotic, I'll pop over here. So something that tests out a lot, again, for a lot of people is, uh, is a tissue salt. A tissue salt uh, called uh, a melange, or this one is the 12 uh, minerals that we have in every single cell of our body. So the melange tissue salt means that they're all 12. There's also individual ones. So this one is called ferrum Foss. This is iron. This I recommend for a lot of babies. Um, and then there's also a uh, bio cell salts, which comes uh, from Physica. This is, this is one of the Physica brand, uh, Physica from the Physica line. It's a drop. So I don't have one open here in front of me. Um, so we just take a drop and giving it to babies is so easy. Giving it to children is so easy. So this is something that is absolutely foundational. We need so many minerals in our body, which is so important. So I just have to plug in my, my camera here, my phone. Um, we need so many minerals in our body to keep us strong on a foundational level. Now it just got a bit skew up, sorry about that. Uh, on a foundational level so that we, uh, so that our body can do everything. I was talking about the need of enzymes earlier. So in needing enzymes, you need nuts and bolts. You need those building blocks to make enzymes in your body. Zinc is known to be used for over 300 enzyme processes in our body. And if we're deficient or we're low in something like zinc, then our body's not gonna produce. Our body's not gonna digest the fat from the avocado that you've just had, for instance. So getting those that basic foundation of minerals is so incredibly important. So the, the cell salts, or tissue salts they're called, really help tremendously just making sure that you've got that foundation. So when you talk about calcium, magnesium, um, potassium, sodium, all of those kind of things, that is what you find in the uh, melange tissue salts or in the bio cell salts from Physica because that is, uh, that's just in a drop. I find that one um, really easy to take. You just take 10, 15, 20 drops, whatever tests out and whatever I recommend. Um, and then, or you can just um, follow what, follow the instructions unless it's recommended by a practitioner. That's the kind of thing that you can do. Okay, so another uh, drop type of situation. I love liquids. Anyone that's having any gut issues, having liquids and powders as opposed to tablets. If you've come across a multivitamin in a tablet form, then that really is so hard to digest. So not the best, in my opinion. Um, tablets, I always want to see something in a capsule. That's a much better way of, of taking in the uh, taking in the nutrients and it being able to be break down enough so that your body can take it in and use it. So this is uh, something called spectrolyte. These are ionic minerals, a little bit different to the uh, to the cell salts. And this actually keeps your body in a situation called right spin. So all of our nutrients need to be um, moving in and out of the cells, especially potassium and sodium. We need, uh, we need them to be inside, outside, inside, outside. We need them to be in a very specific place for our body to be able to heal, for our body to be able to detoxify, for our body to be able to drain, and us being in right spin, which is also uh, clockwise. If you think of that, we don't wanna be sort of going backwards. Um, like this, this is called left spin. So we wanna be going in right spin and, and minerals really, really help us to stay in right spin. And that just means our bodies are functioning 
so much better. So Spectralite is one of my favorites for making sure that we continue it to be in right spin. Minerals are one of those things that are, are just not really talked about. So things like magnesium are really important. Um, whether you want to take a glycinate in a liquid form, whether capsules are easier, that helps so much with, um, with muscles, with sleep, with, um, with, with calming children down. Magnesium is so important for that. Then we also have combinations where you have a magnesium with a calcium or a cal mag. This has more magnesium than it does calcium. This is a vanilla flavor one. Again, these are all liquids and drops. Um, the glycinate form um, of magnesium is definitely preferable. You'll find a few brands are doing the glycinate form, which is a really superior superior form for your body to be able to take it in much better. And a lot of the time we think, well, we need calcium. I've got to drink my milk, all of those kind of things. I'll, so much of the time I find that, that people are deficient in magnesium so much more than they are in calcium because we get calcium from so many different sources. Green leafy vegetables are one of the best. Tahini, I made a beautiful new hummus yesterday, um, like a Thai green curry hummus. I put some paste in it, it was, um, it was just delicious. But the tahini that went into that is so amazing for calcium. So we do actually take in a fair bit of calcium from our diet. Magnesium is, and vitamin D and vitamin K are needed for that absorption. So if you're not taking your vitamin D, then that's also really important. This is a spray of vitamin D, one of my favorites. I do also have capsules of, of it, but this has, um, has vitamin K2 in it as well. This is called Sol Ray D, and um, my children, my kids, my daughters have been sick the past few days, and I've just got a bit of that scratchy throat thing going on. So I actually took 10,000 IUs of this this morning and yesterday, so I am boosting my immune system. So I've taken um, a higher dose of the Sol Ray D than I normally would. But those kind of things are so good to do. And this is a liposome spray, so the absorption happens in the mouth. I don't have to rely on my, on my digestive system being able to take it being able to take it in, digest, and all of those kind of things. So again, this is the difference with a lot of the supplements that are out there is it comes down to what is your body able to digest, absorb, and assimilate. Right? We can take as many capsules or as, as many pills or, 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 or tablets as we want, but if your body's not able to digest and absorb and take it in, same thing with food, then we're not going to get that benefit. Okay, moving on. So a multi. Let's talk about the multivitamin. So there is, uh, the, you know, the, sometimes I talk about that it's an insurance policy that you've got kind of, you've got all the basic stuff, the foundational stuff. Really the best place to get all these nutrients from is a wide variety of foods. So having a rainbow of, of fruits and vegetables every day, having a wide variety of proteins, whether that's more plant-based proteins or whether that is animal, so it's meat, it's eggs, it's fish, it's dairy, benefits from all of those foods. We have to have a really wide, um, wide and different looking, tasting diet all the time. We kind of get into, okay, I'm gonna make a salad. And I do this, I make salads for two or three or four days and that's the same thing. Well, those green leafy vegetables, eat them every single day, no matter what you're doing, just go for it. So some of the multis that I have here, this is, we'll start with the kids. So this is Pediatrovite, fabulous for kids, especially those that have just started at daycare and they're going through that cycle of being sick all the time don't want that so much. So the Pediatrovite is fantastic, really easy to give to any age child. If they're out of that and they're ready to chomp on something, then the children's chewable vitamin is well loved and kids do take that and they take it for, you know, for quite a long time. So those are two, uh, two possibilities for the kids. And then for adults, um, I've got the Pregnovite, here it is. This is more for Pre and postnatal. This has the has the right amount of folic acid. If you're taking it prenatally and then postnatally, it it will cover and give you that foundation so that you've got some of those nutrients going in. Now these are in a capsule form, not in a tablet form. So if you're taking a multivitamin that is in a tablet form. I want you to double check the price tag on it because in this sense, you really do get what you pay for. So, so this is uh, about $42 and this is a month supply because you have to take three a day. So if you're buying something that's about 20 bucks, 
$25, know that the money that's gone in going into it, it's creating forms and bonds of, of vitamins that are actually really difficult uh, to pull apart and the absorption, the potential absorption of that is going to be much lower. So, um, so really just talk to, talk to different people, talk to nutritionists, naturopaths, what are your favorite uh, supplements? Is there a particular line that you like to use? Uh, because of the research that's gone into it because it's very specific. If you need to take a vitamin C, you don't necessarily have to have, this is called alkalized C, this is another physical product. This has got a whole list of extra, let's see if I can get that in there. It's got a whole list of extra minerals in here which are alkalizing for the body. So again, really keeping you in that right spin that I mentioned before. So it's a buffered vitamin C. You could also just go and get any other kind of vitamin C. It's not not something that's really difficult to digest. Some calcium and, and magnesium and things like that are a little bit more so. The same kind of thing with the B vitamins. Yes, you can take a great B vitamin or you're gonna get Bs from your multivitamin. However, a lot of the B vitamins are not that difficult to absorb from a supplement. Minerals are different. So I hope that that's, um, that that's a little bit clearer. What I do love giving people if they're really not eating well enough is perhaps something like, where did my, hang on a second, phytogreens ca capsules for instance. So this is a bunch of greens that they've, um, that they've dried and put into a capsule. So that's one version of it. There's also the juice plus. You can take your veggies, Ooh, there we go, your veggies. You can take your fruits and your berries. This is like a little bit like wine without the alcohol. This is this one tests out so well, it's really quite crazy. So we've got between all of this, uh, up close to 27 fruits, veggies, and berries um, in those uh, in those capsules. So what happens with a lot of these is that they're the fruits and vegetables are picked, they're dried, uh, sorry, they're picked, they're juiced, and especially with the juice plus, they're juiced at their absolute um, most ripe, and then they are dried in a cool process, and then they're put into a capsule. So if you're not able to take in enough fruits and vegetables, then taking these in a capsule to up the amount of greens, we can never get enough greens in our diet, is a really great way to doing it. So the phytogreens capsules is also a great way to do it. Um, Physica's uh, Vital Life Force powder, that's another great one with lots and lots of berries in it. It's a bit of a green, it's looking kind of green, but that I just throw into my smoothie um, and it's absolutely fantastic. I put it in, in my kids' smoothies, especially if they're not um, they're not eating well. So things like barley grass juice powder, kale sprouted powder, parsley juice powder, because it's so high in antioxidants. Uh, pomegranate is in here, chlorella is in here, broccoli is in here, there's extra fiber, um, you know, all sorts of, all sorts of extras go into these kind of powders. And while I would love it, if you ate enough fruits and vegetables every day and didn't rely on something like this to up the nutrition, that would be the best case scenario. However, we're stressed, we maybe don't digest so well, we don't have time to get to all of these great foods that we really want to have. So things like more food source supplements like the Phyto Greens, like the Juice Plus that I just talked about, the Vital Life Force Powder, those kind of boosters I love as foundation. So if you're having a smoothie in the morning and you're putting the greens in and you put pomegranate, I bought, I bought frozen pomegranates the other day. Frozen pomegranates are going in, the berries are going in, all of those kind of things, beautiful. But just to keep those greens up because they are so powerful in antioxidants, so powerful in those nutrients and those minerals that our body needs every single day because of being stressed because of pollution, because of what's going on in our own body to prevent anything that's going to come at us at any given point of time. Antioxidants to calm inflammation is absolutely number one. Probiotics help to calm inflammation just through the gut. So as you can see, it's a bit different, just a different way into, uh, into the body. Okay, so what else have I got going on here that I've got around me? I've talked about these guys. Okay, so something that you might want to 
consider, and I've been downing for the past two days, so this is something that you don't need to take all the time. So this is more of a booster. So let's say you've got that scratchy nose, that scratchy throat thing going on, which my kids have had. Physica does a great uh, throat spray, which is um, boosting and sort of numbing to the back of the throat. Um, I have this um, upcharge situation that I tend to use. So I've got some olive leaf in olive leaf extract, they call it intrinsic here, which is really boosting for the immune system. Mycelia intrinsic, which is mushrooms, another great booster. And this tastes terrible, but boy, oh boy, does it work. This is called Temple Warrior. And this one just completely boosts the immune system so much. So something like this, like these three along with some wild oregano, this will stop pretty much anything in its tracks. And then I double up on a lot of probiotics after that. And then I've managed to stave off everything that the, that the girls have had. And last night, again, my, my 14 year old says, right, mom, I don't care what it tastes like, just give it to me, because I know I'm gonna feel better tomorrow. So it does help. So she's moving through this sort of sinus congestion much, much quicker. Uh, hello there, Marina, Marina, Myrna. Uh, do you like Smarty Pants probiotics and vitamins uh, with omegas for kids? That's what they take daily. I'm not familiar with the Smarty Pants one. So if you want to, uh, I can maybe look it up after I'm finished um, and let you know. For combination type of things together, I've never been a sort of two-in-one shampoo type of, pe type of person because I think that the shampoo does something and the conditioner does something else. So I've sort of translated that into the research that I've done with having, you know, the omegas in with this, in with this, and, you know, they put DHA in orange juice. Mm -mm. We need fat to be able to absorb different, uh, we need fat in our diet to be able to absorb fats. So really important to make sure that your children are taking their fats, whatever the fatty acid that they're taking with food because the digestive, digestive enzymes need to be turned on, switched on, and be working as, your, um, as the digestion, as the lipase is in the stomach, is in the gut to, to be able to break it down. So um, probiotics and vitamins with omegas. It's hard to put omegas into some sort of chewy or a um, uh, or in with a multivitamin. So I'm just hypothesizing here. I don't know much about Smarty Pants. I'm sorry, um, but let's say that we've got some fats. Let me just pull some up here. So we've got cod liver oil. Let's say. This is one of my favorites uh, for the whole family for kids. Uh, very high in DHA, which is amazing. And then we've got multi-EFA capsules. So it, your fats either need to be in a capsule or they need to be in, uh, in an oil. So this is just an oil that you, give, uh, that you give every single day. If they try and put this into some sort of chewy type of thing, there is great technology these days, but from an absorption standpoint, it's going to be best in a more natural form. So um, Genestra does something called uh, Pedia Burst, where they have smaller, like really, we call them splat guys, because they're really small, and then they have the super DHA inside, so it's quite, it's a high dose. Super DHA liquid is really high in DHA, so in the little guys, their kids are taking them, and then when they bite on them, then they go splat. That's why we call them splat guys. We give all of our vitamins a, a slightly, di di slightly different name. But the more that it's in a, a form, so this in a cap, in some sort of capsule situation, then we've got the oil inside the capsule so that once the capsule's broken down, then the oil is released so the body can digest and take it in. So I'm just hypothesizing that the probiotics, uh, the vitamins with omegas, I'm not sure what sort of form that in, that's in. Most multivitamins are in some sort of powder form or liquid form. Um, and then you've got this uh, separate. So for instance, this is one of my favorite liquids, especially for kids. This is called colloidal multi-minerals, uh, multi-min's liquid. So this has got um, uh, mostly minerals in it, again, with some vitamins, I believe. I'm just looking at the side now, all minerals. Because the minerals are so important, it's much easier. Eat some brown rice and get some B vitamins. Um, kids, what is in a child's um, multi, let's say, it's, it's quite low. It's not uh, a really 
high dose of any particular vitamin. So can we get that from food? Sometimes we can in a more digestible form, but it has to come from the brown rice, not the white stuff. Getting the kids to eat that is not always the easiest thing. So falling back onto a supplement, you know, it's it's not a, not a bad thing to do. But again, this is one big, huge liquid. So this is, um, this, um, I love the liquids because they're just so much more digestible. They haven't gone in, there's not as, as much has to be digested. So that's a really, really great, great way to go. Um, yes, it's low for sure. Yeah, the B vitamins, um, if you look at your Smarty Pants, it's one, two milligrams. It's not a crazy amount. So in even in this one, we've got some of the um, some of the B vitamins are all one milligram, 0.5 milligrams, 2.5 milligrams, B6 is one milligram. So it's not, uh, it's not a lot. Um, so yeah, just up there, B, B rich, um, vitamins is in the back of my book, Sprout Right. If you don't have that for children, then there's all the different vitamins and all the different, uh, foods that you can offer to them to be able to uh, to get that from food and talk to them about it. Okay, B vitamins are really important for energy. If you wanna be really fast at that track meet, or you really wanna run fast towards the park, you wanna be speedy on your bicycle or soccer or whatever it happens to be, we need some energy rich foods. And those are the B vitamins. So let's go find some B vitamins. What can we have? Brown rice. Okay, well let's try brown rice this time. Or let's have some, some more whole grain bread instead of white bread. That's where, again, the brown stuff is where the B vitamins are so we gotta have the brown stuff to get it into us I know it kind of sucks you like the white stuff however this is it's gonna make you so much faster you have to make it important for your kids to be involved and invested in this if they're at that stage where you can talk to them about it okay so I've gone over some of the multis I've gone over some of the fats um, a little bit. I do love that everybody takes some fats if you're not eating enough fish. Really, really important to get that into you. So the cod liver oil is one of my most favorite ways. This one does not taste horrendous. It's very lemony. There are more specific fats that you can take if you're vegetarian or vegan. Then Genestra also has the vegan EFA liquid. So this is coming from the algae. So the fish that you, sorry, the, the fats that you find in the tissue of the fish came from the plants. The same way that a lot of the proteins that you find, that you find um, from plants go into the animal and then we eat the animal and then we take in a lot of that protein. So, you know, there's different ways to be able to take these in depending on what it is that you're, um, you know, where you're at with, you know, are you vegetarian or vegan? So this is a great way to, uh, for vegetarians and vegans to get in a liquid form of those essential fats, or you can just jump straight to the cod liver oil too. Okay, so I've gone over some of the minerals. I've gone over some of the multis. Vitamin C is really important. We don't make it ourselves. Us and guinea pigs don't make vitamin C ourselves. So really important to be taking. And then if you've got gut stuff going on or just you wanna boost your immune system, you wanna really get into prevention and all of those kind of things, then, um, then, then yeah, then I would definitely be recommending the probiotic, but you've heard me say that a million times and it's all the way through my book. So, uh, so if you have any questions and you want to reach out on SproutRight.com, I do have a lot of supplements on there, which are sort of easy to go. You could go into a store and buy them, but um, they're easy to find on SproutRight.com. If you need more specific recommendations that I can certainly help out to the best of my ability there with very general recommendations. Otherwise, a one-on-one -on -one consultation is definitely the best way to go because I go through all the supplements and see what it is that your body specifically needs to make sure that this is working for you. I will test with five to 10 different supplements, uh, sorry, five to 10 different probiotics with a baby. I had a six week old uh, baby that I was testing um, yesterday and we went through probably close to 10 probiotics to see what would help this little gassy guy. So, uh, so yeah, so he ended up with a really a quite high dose uh, probiotic, which is great. That's what he needs. He had some some antibiotics going on a little while ago too. So it we just get you back into balance so that your body can um, so that your body can do that. Hey, Steph, how you doing? Feeling great on your prenatal plan? Yep, you're all balanced. You're all tested, all that kind of stuff. And it does. I find it really makes a difference when I do get the chance to test people to make sure that what you're taking works for you. It does bring you to another level. It gets you to where you want to be faster. Your health, your well-being, your energy, 
in, try and you know alleviate some of the symptoms why people come and, and see me in the first place anyway so really really great if you can if you can you know if you can maybe stretch to that or want to want a little bit more information about uh, about coming to see me for a consultation and also in celebration of talking about all of those kind of things stephanie your energy is much better these days yes and your pregnancy is progressing beautifully you're doing so well so making sure that you um, you know that you can find these supplements. Um, you can go to your local health food store. Um, I do always recommend that you get your recommendations, uh, recommend, recommend from uh, from nutritionists, from your naturopath, more specific. And you're you're putting the money that you're putting into taking these supplements in a way where you are getting the most benefit out of it as possible. So on spurtright.com, we do have a code which I will. Put in the in the bottom here for everyone that uh, we have free shipping over any order of $75 so that definitely helps because shipping can be 10 to 15 dollars depending on where you are so I'll pop that code in under the bottom um, here I just need to confirm that I know there's 2018 in there but I just I hit live too quick I was going to going to find out what it was again just to make sure I had the right one to share with you and I hit live by mistake instead of going back out again so anyway here I am and this is what's happened that's what happens with live TV so or sorry not live TV uh, with Facebook lives although I do a lot of live TV too so you just got to work through it so I'll pop that under underneath for you so that you've got that and then if there's um, anything specific that you want um, the physical line is not up there that's not something um, that we are um, that we are allowed to do to put out, to put on the website because it's very specific it's a recommended product so we got to make sure that it's right for you so that's where that comes from in testing and doing a specific consultation so any other questions, let me know. I've gone on a little bit too long. Um, sometimes I like to keep these ones a little bit quick, but anybody that wants to uh, wants a bit more information will be grateful that I've uh, that I've gone on a little bit more. So lots and lots of information for you here this morning. Do let me know if you have any other questions. Check out SproutRight.com, and so that you know when this next ones are coming up depending on if you're following me on Instagram or Twitter or on, uh, on Facebook. Our newsletter is also a great place to get loads of information and keep up to date with anything that I'm talking about or any, uh, any particular information. So have yourself a beautiful day, a super healthy day. Go and eat more colors today than you did yesterday because that's always a great thing to do. And I will see you really, really soon. Take care.